if you are a person who thinks that medicine is going to be your life then this message is for you welcome back to story time episode 3 my name is anuj i'm a second year mbbs student at gmc nagpur and in this episode i'll be sharing you the actual journey my actual schedule and most importantly the biggest motivating factor that i had in me while i was preparing for one of the most competitive examinations in the country in order to clear that competition one must be stable in both mind and well, as well as in preparation if even one of these things is lacking then the examination will not be cleared before we dive deep into what was actually my motivating factor let us look at how my day went and what was the actual schedule i was following for the first 18 months of my preparation that is 11th standard and half of 12th standard the story drastically changes if we are talking about the later 6 months and the later 6 months is just pure hard work and nothing else let's start with the first 18 months of my preparation how did the schedule look like i used to wake up at 6 or 6:15 in the morning and immediately when i used to wake up i used to take my headphones and a very old crappy phone along with a, a textbook to me and rush to the rooftop where the sun was orange in its glory that morning sunshine was one of the most beautiful memories that i have of my neat preparation at that time i did not have a lot of songs i only had a google play playlist of four songs which i played on repeat and while you know listening music and walking around the rooftop in the morning i used to read any subject any topic which i liked during neat preparation friends are rare all you have are competitors right and since i did not have a lot of friends at that point i started to enjoy other things which nature had gifted us like the sunrise the birds the beautiful rays of the sun in the sky all of these things while i'm reading a textbook early morning while the music is playing right in the middle of my head that was beautiful that was probably the best part in all of the neat journey that i have and it went on for almost 18 month after i was done with that my 6:45 alarm went off on my phone and i used to rush downstairs and once i was downstairs i used to pack my bag and get ready for my tuition classes from 8 to almost 12:30 or 1 my tuition classes were there and after getting back i used to take a few hours to myself and then around 5 when papa used to come back home i used to start my actual work rather hard work from 5 in the evening till around 9:30 or sometimes even 10 or 10:30 i used to study continuously only taking a break to eat my dinner now one might say that 3 or 4 hours is not enough for a neat aspirant every day but i would beg to differ the thing is that 3 or 4 hours does not make much of a difference if you do it one day but do it for 365 days and you notice the difference that it brings in your life the consistency in my mind is more important than anything else in the world if you're consistent with something if you're doing it regularly there is no way on earth that you will be stopped by anything if you're consistently working to improve yourself you will get exponentially improved at the end and that was my neat schedule uh, roughly speaking many would argue that the sense of competition that we face in any of the institute or any of the online coaching etc is what drives us to become a person who is going to be better than most people the reason is if you are really into the competition then you will do anything to be on the top and the most important factor that you're, that you're going to be doing is studying but if you really think about it in my case uh, competition did play a major role but it was not at all my biggest motivating factor for neat you see everybody starts out very very strong when they are preparing for neat in the starting phase in the first 6 months the competition is extremely high but if you really look after those 6 months the initial head start that people have in their minds people start falling off their grades start falling down and uh, you are left with only 10% of the initial people you started out with so what is this magic that is happening the reason that comes to my mind if you think about it is our emotions our emotions are what actually give us the power to keep going the strongest emotion the human can feel perhaps is pain and fear these are 
the most important emotions i would say evolutionarily speaking the reason is if you are in pain you will quickly remove that foreign object which is causing you pain and if you are in fear you will quickly run away from the fear to save your life other emotions are not as strong like happiness pleasure they are not strong motivators pain and fear are very strong motivators but then again if you really look forward to it i was not in any sort of pain but fear i did fear one thing more than all my fear was that i had no plan b there was no plan apart from being successful in neat there was no other option apart from being successful in neat either you become a doctor or you become a doctor there is no second chance there is no second option that you have i'm not sure how correct that approach was but what i know is that if you allow yourself only one single shot only one single opportunity then it is inevitable that in that one single shot you will give your best you will strive the hardest you will hit the ball the hardest if you allow yourself two chances you won't give your best in your very first attempt imagine if in cricket every single batsman had two wickets to get out and not just one what would happen will they really take the first wicket seriously no they won't they would not hit as hard they would not be more care- careful but would they take the second wicket seriously of course they would the reason is the same once it's fear that is instilled in our minds the fear of you have only one chance i don't i did not have the fear of failing i only had the fear that it's going to be one chance you get only one chance there are no redos and the fear of having only one chance is what is the big what was my biggest motivator for neat you know there's a song by eminem in the song he says uh, something in the starting itself he says if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything that you've ever wanted in one moment would you capture it or leave it that is the same thing i told myself every single day every single time when i used to feel ki ek chapter skip kar dete hai kal pad lenge every time when i used to feel nahi yaar aaj zyada questions ho gaye kal kar lete hai every single time that i felt i can't give more i used to tell myself you get one shot opportunity comes once in a lifetime not more than once and that is what i kept telling myself until the last day that my friend this is it and this is the last chance you're going to get of course if you think about it people have more than one chances they can reappear for the examination but if in your mind you only have one chance then you have the biggest motivation with you there's this movie called as the dark knight rises in that movie what happens is that batman or bruce wayne rather is thrown into a well which is actually a prison to get out of that well batman has to actually make a very difficult leap from one side to the other side what is special is that at that point he does not have any kind of equipment does not have any gadgets his back is broken if he falls from that height he will fall down if he falls down then gotham the city of batman will die will perish bane will kill it so he has this one shot this one opportunity this one single shot that he has to make it no matter what happens and with that thought in mind he does it as you might be familiar because if he didn't his city would perish the same way if i didn't my dreams would be crushed i did not allow myself a second chance i have only gave myself one chance always remember if you allow yourself more than one chance then you will not give your best in the first one ye thought hi nahi aane dena hai ki main repeat kar lunga ya main kuch aur kar lunga if you are really passionate about your dreams if you really want to actually become a doctor then this is the sort of passion that you should be having once you have that you will see that you become a dragon a dragon which has fire lit inside it a fire breathing dragon with an eternal flame 
that will charge you through everything that you will ever do for your preparations be it neat be it aims or be it any other competitive examination this is something which you should all be doing give yourself only one chance not more than that now that i look back on it i don't really think that this strategy was right because it's not like if you don't clear neat you won't be of any use you can certainly do a lot of things even after you can't clear neat but this talk was for those few people for whom becoming a doctor getting that white coat going into the opd with that litman stethoscope around their neck is something which they have been dreaming on since they first knew how to dream this message is for them if you are a person who thinks that medicine is going to be your life then this message is for you because if you apply this if you only give yourself one shot there is no way you can ever fail it and always remember you are a miracle believe in yourself you can do it no exam is too difficult nothing can stop you only you are limiting yourself don't do that with that my friends story time episode number 3 is concluded my name is anuj pachel i'm a second year mbbs student at gmc nagpur if this is your first time here subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this and if you haven't already smash that like button and of course you are a dragon now is your time to turn on that eternal flame that you have got so go be a dragon my friend and burn it down see you